on the phone tonight Just to see if you were just the way you are And I believe that you What's up guys, so we just got to LA, or I just got to LA. I was supposed to come with Keon, but he couldn't make it unfortunately. Just pulled up to Anaheim and ran into some familiar faces. Sorry, I'm covering you up in my head. Hey guys, I sometimes make videos. It's like six o'clock, we finally got to go shopping. I realize I haven't done an intro or anything to this video. Basically, I'm in LA for SneakerCon. Should be a really good time. And uh, dude, driving in LA sucks. So now we're hitting up Mag Park. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. What is your favorite Jordan on that wall over favorite there? Favorite Jordan on that wall, if wow. You had to pick one. Put me on the spot. These. Which ones did you choose? These. Really? Yeah. The these IEs? The low IEs? Yeah, I really like these. I've never seen that colorway once. How much are these? What size are these, man? Ed, what is your favorite Jordan on this wall right now if you had to pick out one? Which one is it? Any Jordan on this wall? Pantone 11s? Red 11s? Oh, the metallic fives. My favorite sneaker of all time. So I guess if I had to pick a Jordan off the wall, so the Bread 11s would definitely be at least in the top three. I don't know if they'd be the number one. Maybe the, do they have them here? Well, you got the white cement threes. What else we got, what else we got? Like I said, it'd probably be a one. I'm not sure which one though. Maybe I do love the Royals. Maybe the Chicago's. It's, you know, honestly, it's gonna be the Breads. I like the color of the, uh, the older bread's better than the new ones. Here we go, here's some. This 2013 pair? This might be my favorite on the wall. Um, I want to give a shout out to Mike Lopez and um, Mad Mike and Mike Lopez. They've also got my favorite pair of DB. You got the DB nines, which I just found out had a 3M upper. I didn't know that. You got the new Just Dons in that pink colorway, which I think is sick. Paranormans. Another pair of the acronyms. I don't know. What do you guys think of those acronyms? Did you guys like those? I wasn't a huge fan. So guys, you got the LV somethings. I'm not sure exactly what the deal is, but uh. My size is cool. Very, very heavy. Okay guys, since I'm here and I live on the complete opposite side of the country, I figured I should at least get some merch, right? So see what we got. We got some 50% off stuff. I'm gonna pick up a couple things. What's up guys, it's day one of Sneaker Con. It's Saturday, July 22nd. I'm about to run over to the convention center to drop off shirts, drop off tablecloths, stuff like that. It's like six in the morning, I'm dead tired. I was gonna record more yesterday and make it its own separate vlog, but just Edwin, Tom, and I were so tired and we didn't have a lot of time, so we only really hit up Mag Park, which is still a great store, but I just, I don't think that's enough for an entire vlog. So I'm gonna sort of roll that one into this one and uh, hopefully we'll have a good day today. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the whole VidCon situation with Jake Paul and Logan Paul. Um, this is where it all went down, right there, at that fountain. All that craziness. Um, apparently there was a stampede, all sorts of stuff. Props to those guys for doing some pretty amazing stuff in that they're just blowing up like crazy. Um, but they've also done some stupid stuff. So, I don't know, you gotta love them, but you also gotta hate them a little bit too. So we just got into Sneaker Con, it's like 7.30 in the morning, everything's set up, we just gotta pick up shirts, gotta get some food. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Food. Food's important, yeah. food's very important. So I was waiting like a solid three, four minutes for that stupid Sneaker Con thing to come up on that billboard back there. Was it worth it? I don't know but I wasted some time doing it. So what is good, YouTube? We're taking over Seth Fowler's TV. Now nah, he's inside getting a drink. Then we're gonna hit up uh, Sneaker Con. We got big things planned. We gotta bring Seth by the table, too. So apparently there's also a car show going on besides Sneaker Con, which to be honest, Maybe we should just do that shit instead. So we finally got the setup done. I've got all my shirts laid out. We got the LA specific one right there. I can't even point to it. I'm really excited about that. Like I said, there's only 30 shirts. We also got Ray Ray right next to me, and then Butter Movement, and then over here we got the Monday Midsole. It should be a good group of guys. We also got Ace of Customs right here, and then a sneaker store back there somewhere. Look who it is. What's going on? <laughs> How you guys doing? See you, man. Oh, for real, it's been a long time, man. Doing good. How you doing, man? Good, good to see you. Good. good to see you too. So what are 
it is exactly. Kith, friends and family mid ultra boost. Are you on camera saying? Yes. That's the important part. As long as you say they're 12, then they're 12. Oh, like, cool it is, the man himself. How you been, man? It's good to see you. So guys, SneakerCon's about to get started. I'm excited. It should be a lot of fun. The booth is dope. I'm next to a lot of great people. Really excited for that. Meeting a lot of cool people. Might buy some shoes. That's the sketchy part because I don't have the money for that right now. So I'm thinking if I grab anything, I'm going to grab the Ultra Boost mids or um, maybe EQTs. Oh, look who it is. Adam, the cameraman in front of the camera. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Oh shit, you, you weren't kidding. Yeah. So this is the caramel apple, which one? Easy. Yeah. Easy? It was for uh, Halloween last year. Wow. If you guys get hungry, you know where to come. That's sick, man. How does it not come off? Like, I'm sure they take it around like steam. I, no, I honestly don't know how it stays on. That's crazy. Good to see you. How you been? Good, man. Chillin'. Look who it is. There was no box. No box. He, oh, he made us less shit. I paid four, though, so. Those are sick, man. Yeah. Shout out to Philo Custom. I'm Travel King Custom, bro. I appreciate it. What's up, it's Eric with Detroit Custom Slides. Here in LA for Sneaker Con. Got some silk slides. We got Goyard. That's Hermes right there. We got all kinds of stuff. Check us out. All authentic material. All handmade by us in Detroit. I'm at the Soul Science Antidote booth with Jumpman Bostic. He's got his own fragrance. Yeah. The Soul Science fragrance is Midnight Chair. The theme behind this is I worked the Midnight Shift when I was on the force. And the cherry part is from Black Cherry Kool-Aid, which was my favorite growing up and still my favorite to this day. And this smells exactly like it. Got to keep your shoes smelling fresh at all times. You guys gotta check it out. I've tried it. It's amazing. It works great. So Edwin's yeah, grabbing a pair of shoes around. to give away. Yeah. And uh, what what pair are you looking at? Any idea? To be honest, I have no idea. We're just gonna go and uh, see what pair we can find for a decent price. You thinking those? They're not bad. I don't know if you guys follow John Geiger at all, but he does a lot of really cool customs and things like that. So of course I got the misplaced checks here, which you kind of never see anywhere because he did such a small run of them. I need to get myself a pair of What are these called again? The Legend of Summer. Those are, and the ones next to them also? Yeah. Yo, Seth, can you start making top five and ultra boost lists? I swear it's freaking always ultra boost number one. <laughs> Thousand dollar price tag. Shut up. I just bought them. So this is what it looks like to steal thousand dollar shoes. <laughs> so Edwin bought some thousand dollar samples for a hundred bucks. Whoever yells the loudest, we got the joke! 
So guys, I just found the pair. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab Haven Ultra Boost from a sub. That's like. That's awesome. Man. I was like, I was like, I wanted to sell too. So you get a review up on your channel. I appreciate it, man, so much, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, these are sick, man. I have not seen a single one. Not like 75. Yes, looking fresh. Hell yeah, man. I was in line. I saw a couple guys in line. Oh, wow. Uh, you the Kimster that dropped you off on the The fake friend one? Yes, yeah. Yeah. So guys, I copped the Haven Ultra Boost. I got him in his size nine and a half. Right here. DS from a sub. He's a really awesome guy. He came over and said what's up earlier. I think they're awesome shoes. I'm really stoked. So it should be a... Uh, maybe I'll rock them tomorrow. I don't know yet. What up, everybody? It's BB, Regina Barrett, 2012 Olympic silver medalist in the women's high jump. And uh, these are my kicks. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So basically, I started doing track and field. I high jump in high school. Poor kid from New York, just trying to figure out how to go to college, make something out of myself. And uh, God blessed me to jump really high. I, I was the top high jump recruiter in America coming out of high school. Um, I had like over 340 schools trying to recruit me. And I ultimately chose to go to the University of Arizona. It's so my junior year of college. I got a silver medal in the Olympics, London. And <laughs> It was my first ever Olympic experience. Um, I then found out that I broke a whole bunch of records, like becoming the first American woman to medal since Louise Ritter in like 1988. Um, the first ever collegiate athlete to medal as a collegiate athlete. The youngest girl to jump as high as I ever jumped. So, I mean, it's been a whirlwind and because of all that, I was blessed to um, become sponsored by uh, Team Jordan, uh, Jordan brand, and uh, that's how I got blessed with all these kicks. Um, these were custom made by Team Jordan um, for me. I simply was like, yo, I just want them to be dripping in goals, and that's what I got. <laughs> that's a dream right there. No one gets these. These are the only pairs that exist like this. What's your favorite pair? These ones. The 11s? <laughs> Oh they're so goodness. comfortable. I mean, I just love 11s. Like, they're just my favorites because they're so comfortable. You could ball out in them. I don't always suggest that if they're your only ones. But if you haven't got like two pair, go ahead and lace them up. You feel me? Um, I'm a high jumper, so we fly. You feel me? Um, but I also love the 13. Jump me a boss came through. Um, I believe. Uh, I can't remember which ones are his favorites, but he definitely blessed the collection. So we in here. So thanks for the love. Make sure you follow me. Everything is airborne. H E I R underscore B O R N three life. You feel me? Airborne. See you later. So SneakerCon cleared up a little bit early. It's about six o'clock and everyone's sort of like winding down. I did grab the Haven Ultra Boost. Pretty stoked about those. I'm really excited to rock those. I might actually wear them tomorrow. Thank you again to the dude who hooked me up. Really appreciate it. What's going on? And uh, yeah, it was a good day. So tomorrow's gonna be another good day. I'm excited for that. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Seth Fowler if you wanna see more content just like this. And follow me on all other forms of social media. The links will be down in the description below.